The glycemic index is a system for classifying carbohydrate-containing foods according to how fast they raise blood glucose levels in the body. In other words, what you eat eventually breaks down into sugar, and some foods, such as refined carbohydrates, break down quicker than, say, brown rice. The glycemic index consists of a scale from 1 to 100. The higher the score, the more rapid turnover of that food to sugar in your blood. The lower the number, the slower it converts. So who can take advantage of this type of a dietary lifestyle? Everyone, really. However, it's associated with those who have diabetes because they learn which foods will keep their blood sugar levels balanced. It's also a great way to not only lose weight, but to live a healthier lifestyle. And the benefits to this type of a dietary lifestyle are, it's easy to follow, no preparation, anyone can do it, it's a healthy way to live, and you don't have to starve. The drawbacks are, the glycemic index rates individual foods. It did not take into account combinations of foods. And it can be a bit confusing as some foods which are not that healthy for you actually has a lower GI value than the healthier vegetable or fruit. The GI value tells you only how rapidly a particular food will turn into sugar. It does not tell you how much of that food's carbohydrate is in a serving. So if you wanna get started, the GI Diet by Rick Gallup is a great place to start. He has written a ton of books on this subject, and he's broken the foods down into three simple categories. Red are the highest foods that you always want to avoid. Yellow are the foods that you can eat sometimes, or if you're trying to lose weight or get back to a healthier weight. Green foods are foods that you can always have for a healthier weight and lifestyle. 